the supermarket monster. Nope. I'm done. Nope. Drawing the line. Nope. I quit. Bye bye. Once, in a place far away, a very long time ago, there was an boy named Roger. He was tall, but a bit round. He lived in a big city where unusual things seemed to happen every day. For example, his uncle died. Anyway, Roger had lots of enzymes in the city. All the people he used to like were now his enzymes because he changed. He used to be a really successful banker named Ron, but he decided to go another way. And now he is a hobo named Roger. Because of this, his friends thought that they didn't like him no more. So they said, you're our enemy now. And Roger was like, oh no, I have no friends but loads of enzymes. Roger lives day to tomorrow by the change he gets off strangers outside McDonald's. But sometimes he, when he gets enough money, he goes to the local shopping center called Teco. He can only buy things when they are on sale, so he only buys things when they go on sale because he doesn't have any much money. Sometimes he even gets enough change to buy chicken when it's on sale, and he goes into KFC and says, Can you cook this for me? And they do it, because they are his enzymes and spit in the food. Yuck. Today, on the most windy and stormy and rainy and cloudy and sad of days, he decided he needed to eat and went to Teco. When he went inside, there was no baskets. This was weird. Roger though that that must be giving them a break today, so he kept going. He saw that the raw bread was on sale, so he went to go buy it. And then a big fat hairy man ran up to him and said, No! That's not for you. And he took the sale sign away, which made the bread go back up to $100,000. This is all in the future, so that's normal for the future. Roger made a face similar to this. Oh! And he said, But if you don't give me that, I will strive. And the fat man laughed, and his fat went bouncy from the laughing. Then one of Ron's enemies died, so Ron felt his anger rising. That happens when his enzymes die. And he punched the man so hard that his fat fell off, and the man was so angry that he cried blood. Then the lights went out so fast that Roger knew he was going to be murdered. A black mist came out of the cereal boxes, and the bacon was flying everywhere. Pancake mix splashing over the counters. Freezers freezing at higher temperature, that normal, so that it was freezing the frozen pieces of us too much. Ron ran way far away to that aisle that's always full of people. It has like loads of sweets and crisps. Yummy. There was like 10, no wait, 15 monsters there. All black, with eyes oogieing with blood and tears that looked like bacon, but were actually dead people's skin. He screamed, Fat man, help! But when the fat man came her, he said, You punched my fat, and now you will pay. I am your enzyme. And then he ran and went inside a freezer, but forgot that the freezers froze too hard now, and he died from freeze. Roger ran to an exit and was almost out when he tripped on something. He looked down and saw his enemy saying, Help me! The pancakes were too strong! And then he said, No, I am Roger. You were Ron's friend, not mine. Smelly. And he ran out the door. He was safe. He got out. He escaped. He avoided death. 
He was alive. He was tall. He was safe. He was Roger. Then he went he back in for the bread, but forgot about the monsters. So when he got the bread, the monsters came out between the slices and cried blood from their mouths, saying, We are your enemies, Ron! He said, How do you know my old name? And then they ate him, and he just fell down on the floor crying from death. His last words were, I am all your enemies. Then he fell down and died. Just before he died, he said, I will now become a supermarket monster. So when you are in a supermarket, remember that Ron is waiting. In the future though, because it's in the future. <laughs>